what we've done here is got three of the collars made up. Now there is a procedure for doing this. Um, you can see here that we've rounded off the outside sections on all these where necessary. The next thing we had to do was drill out the holes. So once we got the holes cut out then we had to go in with the boring bar and bring them to right actual size. So prior to cutting the slot here we had to drill the hole down down through and that hole goes all the way through and out the other side. Now once we got that hole done then we could cut the slot down here and that, that was the last part of the process as far as these go so far. So we'll just show you all that with reference to right the last one, the larger one. Right, so here's the last one for us to do. This actual collar that we're making here is for the mill itself. What these collars are for is for these rulers here, um, electronic rules. And as you can see here, we've got that one right, which will just right follow down and give us some more accurate information for right the depth that we're cutting. So once we've got this centre bit cut out and brought to size, that'll actually fit around this section here and clamp on and then when you bring it down the right the actual spindle right itself then we'll be able to get a right a reading off the electronic rule as to how far we're going down. We've lined all this up and we actually used our pilot drill was five mil so we used a five mil drill bit and we just sent it all that up so we had no deflection on the drill bit um, in the X or Y axis. Once we've got all that done then we lock the table down and now we've changed over to the size cutter that we can use as far as the, um, the available sizes in this um, set. And what we'll do now is just cut straight through. That's actually the start of the cut there, and if we keep winding that down, we'll find that we've gone to almost five and a half mil so far. You can see it's a pretty slow cut to do because it's such a big cutter. Now we've got the, rev, um, the revolutions for the mill right down, so we're only doing about 90 revs per minute. So. We just filled it up with kerosene, that's what we're using as our, our lubricant, just to give it a, a bit of lubrication and also cutting fluid. And we're almost halfway through, so we're a little bit out of here, here, there. 